man what it do what it look like man we gonna start it off man chris gonna pull up later so it look like y'all just got me right now but it's all good y'all already know we gonna turn up we gonna have a good time good topics i got a whole list of topics too a whole list a whole list of topics man if you um coming in please answer the poll question hit the like button on the way in let's chop it up about some shoes talk about the culture man shoes sports and music you already know that um nah never that nah chuck the will smith realist <laughs> i just be keeping it real I just be keeping the trail, man. Chris in the building, pulled up. They got a, they got a new name for me in the chat. Chuck the Will Smith hater. <laughs> this is crazy, man. But bump all that, man. The poll question of the night. The poll question of the night, Chris. Let me let you know what the poll question is. The poll question is: What R&B group was better? One twelve. Or jagged edge, one twelve, one twelve, mm. one twelve. Mm. Hold, hold, hold your, hold your thoughts. We are gonna save that for after we get through with the topics and all that. Gabe says, "What did y'all think of the Chris Rock special?" I, I ain't check out the um. I ain't see it. Yeah, I, 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 I ain't see the Chris Rock special. I did not see it, man. Um couple more topics man just to start it off on a light note um chris if you remember correctly rob remember when um when um lebron's the fan view the bronze sevens fan views was coming out they said that it was supposed to have been another release day right yeah that was march 1st right i don't remember the other release date but they said it was supposed to be the second release date yeah second release date and it was march 1st we are on the seventh today, and it isn't any LeBron seven fam use. I don't think they. I don't think they dropping them. I don't think so either, man. I was getting a couple comments on a video that I did, the unboxing video I did for that for that particular shoe, and somebody had brought it to my attention, like, "Yo, don't they supposed to be dropping again?" And I'm like, "I think they're supposed to be dropping again." But I think, for, I think that's clipped. You think that? You think that's cat? I think that's clip. And if it is, it's gonna be later in the year. Yeah. Uh you can get them in the bronze on GOAT, but they're going for the high. Yeah, they're going for the high on the GOAT. And on StockX. Um Gabe said Nike is pushing them Romero fives heavy, man. Yes, that's why I thought it would be a dope topic for us to chop it up, you know, look at some other colors. Um that you know, just talk about the shoe. That Dawnbecker one is so far the that's gonna get yeah, we 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 gonna get into that. We gonna get into that. Uh, Mr. Ford said you can get the LeBrons on goat. Mr. Ford said I will be getting them. I mean, like I said before, man. Um, Ford said funny. One twelve is funny because I was listening to them today. I listen to one twelve and Jagged Edge every day. Um, Gabe said both one twelve and Jagged Edge had some mangas. They both did. You can't be mad at anybody's opinion on either group. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Like whoever you go with, it's they want it's. You're not wrong with any pick you go, who you go with. But me, uh, I'll explain later why I'm messing with 112 more. Um, XVG in the building was good, my G. Uh, Mr. Four said in his size, mm -hmm. LeBron's is going for 258. Did anybody uh -huh. else hear about the second on release date of the shoe? That 258 going to turn into three real quick. 
depending uh, on where you at and with how, and, and and their fees and stuff. What's good, XVG? Uh, Gabe says, "Will Nike do a shock drop of those SB Jordan fours this week? Probably. Might want to keep an eye out if you're looking for that shoe. They might do a shock drop for that shoe." Uh, Soul said, "What's good, bros?" XVG mm-hmm. said, "Mr. Ford, that Cavs and Celtics game last night was crazy. It was crazy. I was watching." Shout out to the Cavs for coming back and winning that game, taking it to OT. They was down the whole game. Fourth quarter came back. You know, you know who brought them back, Donovan Mitchell. You already know how what much, it is. How, Gabe, how much you want for them um Vermeros? That I ain't see the game. I just saw the score. But the Celtics are on the three-game losing streak. They got they gotta get they gotta get this together. This is the wrong time of the year to be going in the losing in the losing columns. But 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 yesterday uh Tatum didn't play. It was a lot of people not playing because oh, of the okay. double okay. overtime. I didn't, I didn't know that. Like I said, Nick I didn't game see the game. Show. I didn't see the game. Of I'm just going playing, but it was a it, it was a good game. Tatum, it was a, if if Tatum really didn't play and it went to old, overtime, then I then I, I, I can understand why Celtics ain't win that game. No, they were winning. They were winning. I said, why they game. didn't win that game? They blew the game. They was up by like 15. Nah, I know, but you got to remember, Tatum's basically damn near their closer. Nah, but Jalen Brown was there. He was doing. They nah, was, nah, they, nah, they, nah, I'm not taking away, but think about it. That's like, that's like when you're going into the playoffs, you sit the people you don't really need a, your starters. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. So they're not getting hurt or nothing. So if you don't got your closer playing, you know that's how I look at it. If you don't got your main stars playing, that game is up in the air. You get what I mean? Williams at the end missed two free throws at the end to win the game with uh. Yeah, I seen seconds that. Left. I, what I'm, I seen that. He missed oh. uh. Yeah, he missed. He missed two free throws to win the game, man. It was kind of crazy, man. Most definitely, uh. Yeah, man. Um. Anybody um Jordan threes came in today. Mine's came in today. Finally, from last week, it's been like almost a week, man. Uh, the Cavs are three and one versus the Celtics this season. Mmm, mmm. Cavs a sweeper. Cap, I'm trying to tell him. Try to tell him, man. Try to tell him, man. I'm thinking about putting a bet on it, man. But we're gonna jump straight into the topic. We have the ten minute mark. You already know what it is, man. All right, man. So, uh, hold on, I gotta find the dude. Uh, here we go. Grant Williams choked. He definitely did. I saw the clip on Instagram where he told me he was gonna make both of them. You couldn't even make one. You got like he. <laughs> and the funny thing is, he's trying to get the bag too soon. Who? Grant Williams on Celtics because he was he. They was talking about trading him. Gonna trade that line because he he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna be looking for that bag in free agency. Oh no, bro, bro, definitely miss. And that's not a good time to be choking when when the game is on the line to win missed the game. Free throws before the before the um he definitely missed two free throws. That's a fact. That's a fact. He missed two free throws. So when the game, all you, all you gotta do is make one, really. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Ford, he's going for the twelve next week. The Amimiya 12s? What 12s is coming out next week, man? Is it um, Amimiya ones? I'm not sure, man. But y'all see the title of the video, man. Are the Nike Romero 5s the hottest Nike running shoe? Right there, man. And um. In colorways, it's fire. At first, I, at first I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. At first, they wasn't really... Like I wasn't really paying attention to these joints, man. But I'm just it's like it's nah. like it's, it's, they coming out with so many different colorways. I you told you, I told you, that, like that copper brown looking one was fire. I didn't see some of these other ones, but that um one, that one you pulled up on the podcast, like a uh, like two podcasts ago, three podcasts ago, was fire. That was oh, the first man. color that drew drew my attention. Hold on, hold on, hold on, fam, hold on, hold on. And then it was them dawn backer joints. Dawn backer is already. A- Talking about these, the wheat grass. Yeah, that joint caught my eye on the yeah, gram. Man, I didn't think it was posted on the gram. I was like, that's type, that's type fire. I already had a fit going in mind with that colorway. That's why I looked at them. Like, that's crazy. Um, yeah, man. So hold on, let me read the comments before I get into yeah, what I'm the, the joints, the black ones. 
Didn't they come out already? No. Nah. He didn't come out. That color didn't come out. Okay. How you going to say you going to... Yeah, he definitely said he was going to make both free throws. Yeah. I missed. They, they showed... They showed it, um, him saying it on uh, on different on different um, medias and men's yeah. both. Gabe, you still ain't answer the question. Oh no, nah, he said he said he said he said. Uh, Mr. Four said they came out last. They came out this week, but he's gonna pick them up next week. So, oh. okay, okay. All right, so yeah, man. So this color right here, man, this is a fire colorway. I don't know how this shoe yeah. feels on foot, man, but it looks like it's zoom air in the inside of the sole. So more than likely, it's gonna be a very comfortable shoe on foot. And they have a lot of interesting colorways, including this one right here. This one right here is the wheatgrass colorway. Uh, you got brown, light brown, orange, and tan, which is always a deadly combination when you put all these colors together right mm -hmm. here. Uh, yeah, you know, they got that 3M swipe right here on the tip of the toe box. Um, 160 is the price point for pretty much every pair Gabe of said the, the Mero 5s. Gabe said the woman colorways are harder than the men colorways. Yeah, because the woman's colorways are a lot more uh basic. I seen a lot of light, light gray, you know. I ain't gonna lie, Gabe is playing. He's not saying the what he wants for them them Dornbecker joint stuff. Um, that he's staying out this pole too close. I'm gonna see how it plays out. Can't go wrong with either choice, Jerome. It's, 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 it's a matter of your opinion. Hey, say, Chris, save your fire. thoughts, save your thoughts for the end, bro. <laughs> just read the comment and go. Go to just read, just save it to the end so that way you now. I'm trying to get him to vote. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get him to vote. I mean, he said you're gonna see how it play out. Let him see how it play out. Let him see how it works. Oh, you see, you got the three of them all through the whole shoe. Oh, that's fire. Didn't even see that. Nah, I didn't see that. And that's on all of them or just that one? Uh possibly on all of them because I think these are on the Dawnbacker ones too. Let's go back and look at the Dawnbackers real quick. Uh these is crazy. Hold on. This is 2020. This must have been when they first started bringing them back. Gabe, okay, we're gonna trap it up. I may need those. He gave you a price 150 when they first came out was the original price you know, for these. The Dawn Becker ones, he said 250. 50 not bad. 250 no, not, not bad. No. Uh, yeah, let's go to bad. the DB colorway. I think the, the DB colorway definitely has the 3M in the two. I've seen that. I think that's the I sent them to you. I sent them to you, Chris. Yeah, you did. This it, is the kit right it's here. Not, it's not, it's not, it's not, um, it's. I think it lights up like that bright yellow or orange, whatever color it was you sent in that picture. Well, they probably don't have it on this picture, but yeah. These glow in the dark too. Or 3M or something. Yeah, but when it lights up when, when it lights up, it's not it's not that uh silver light up, I believe. It's 3M, the 3M reflective. Yeah, like this probably is like a probably orange or something like that. But I yeah, but yeah, man. Orange. So do you guys feel like this is one of Nike's hottest silhouettes right now? Or do you just feel like this is for the moment type situation? What's your thoughts on the uh, Romero 5s? As far as their running sneakers, I say this is their hottest running sneaker right now. I mean, I agree, man. I the agree. Colors, That's why I thought this was a dope topic. The colors and yeah, just the colors overall is honestly, this is better than a lot of the running sneakers they dropping right now. <clears throat> Definitely, man. Um, I was gonna keep this topic for like a like a, a regular video, man. But I was like, let me just bring it to the live, and then we can chop it up all together and figure it out, man. Uh, Gabe said the DB colorway also glows in the dark. Yes, I sent yeah. Chris a picture of uh, the glow in the dark. Yeah, these, the these, these, these came out already. It's the yeah. four. These came dropped. Out, they came out what like a like a, two weeks ago, right? Seems like uh, yeah, something out. like that. Something like that about two weeks ago. Probably a week and a half. Two yeah, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And I'm mad because I for, I, I forgot the date they they dropped, and by the time I went on sneakers, everything was sold out. I was like, wow. Yeah, man. Um. Uh, Gabe said it's hard to tell if the Romero's is hot or just getting a mega push from Nike. I would say it's a combination of both. 
because you see so many different colorways already you know what i'm saying there's so many different colorways over the years and there's actually some people actually copping them man like you're one of the people who gave you talk about this shoe pretty much every live um uh fly high talks about this shoe pretty much every live you know what i'm saying so a lot of people i don't are talking about this shoe so i necessarily won't say nike's giving it a bigger push because they could they could do way more pushing behind that sneaker than they are right now that's how i feel i think it's just the it's the, uh, it's the, shoe. the streets talking the streets the is talking. talking like the colorways on them is fire like and for a lot of people that don't mess with new balance and want to stick with nike like being biased they coming out with some fire colorways with this sneaker so you know what i mean like yeah that right yeah. there's gonna have people drawn to it because them doing becker joints is just fire yeah the don becker colorway and i like the wheat grass colorway yeah, those and I like, the, right I like I like the blue, the the, the there's like a royal blue pair that I like. I like and the, the gray, gray and I like and the, the lime green. And the gray is just a simple put on and keep it moving. Right, like right. Keep, that's like you could put that on anything, keep it pushing. Yeah, and those are my favorite kind of shoes. Like the kind of shoes that ain't gonna bring too much attention. You just throw them on, keep it pushing. People they catch on later. You know what I'm saying? Those are my yeah, favorite kind of had, shoes. Uh, Supreme, he said, anyone hit on the restock of the Supreme Uptowns? I did since I missed on Tiffany joints. They did the Supreme release today. <laughs> we, man. I, I don't, I don't, I don't no combo. <laughs> <laughs> the most things I got from Supreme is When I say push, I mean a look. When, when I say push, I mean look at many. Look at the number of colorways it has in a short period of time. That's what I was saying. That's oh, what I, I was saying. Like, 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 as far as like yeah, stuff. it's so many different colorways already. So Nike may be giving it a push because they probably yeah, realize yeah. the couple yeah, of colors yeah. that they put out with they put out already sold yeah. out. So they're giving it a push. The new colors, you know. Let's give it a DB. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I'm sure they have some type of com uh, they have. I think they have a kiff. If I'm not. It's it's some boutique. It may be Kip. I think they have a Kip collaboration. You can't honestly speaking. You can't really one sixty is is a perfect price for a sneaker right now. Supreme did a restock of the of them all of the uptowns. Yeah, somebody. Well, uptown. You you talk, you talking about the white, black, the regular yeah. color? Yeah. With the, the what? <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't do nothing supreme. I just have a pair nah, of socks. If it would have been, if it would have been the, the army, the, the 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 camo pack fatigue, I mean the camo air force one pack. See now, now I would have been tight. I'd have been tight then, but them regular black, black, white with the small supreme logo. I don't care about that. That's what everybody likes though. That's what a lot of people like was that the regular black and white pair with the little box supreme logo. Super uh, I'd rather buy a pair of Uptowns, white Uptowns, and call it a day. All day. All day. Most definitely, man. But we're going to jump off these. We're going to jump into the next topic that we have on hand. And this topic kind of segue into, we was talking about the Tiffany Air Force One. So we're going to segue right into this next topic, man. And if you didn't get a pair, <laughs> if, if you didn't get a pair of Tiffany Air Force Ones, Blame oh, Jada Kiss. Me. All they talk about is oh nah 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 no music. But blame no, Jada Kiss, no. man. I mean he got blame Jada. <laughs> blame Jada Kiss. If you didn't get a pair to Tiffany, that's one or oh, that's two. My bad. I'm sorry. Two. My bad. <sighs> he throwing them. I'm dying. He just threw them. <laughs> what's that? There? What's that? What's that? Oh my bad. Three. Mm. Sorry. He's throwing them though. That's the funny thing about this whole video. He like, nigga, I don't care about these. If you were not able to get your hands on a pair, oh, he got the friends and family too. Oh, he's upset. Oh, and he got the jacket. Jacket, yeah. He got that friends and family pack. And that friends and family when I um I only seen a few people with those. And the coat is hard though. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, this fire. That's that destroyer. The That's that destroyer. Hard. I got a couple of those. That's that destroyer right there. Nike, Nike jacket. 500. I'm drinking 500 a pot back in the days. But you know, if you he weren't. Three pairs, he got three pairs of blacks and the friends and family pair. If you weren't able to get a pair of Tiffany Air Force Ones, blame Jada Kiss. <laughs> you no know what I'm saying? Blame, blame Jada Kiss. Blame he Tiffany. Got three. He got Blame the friends and family. 
and everything else, man. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you wasn't, no. if, you wasn't if you wasn't able to get a pair, you can't blame Tiffany because you ain't hit on the sneakers app either. No, you blame yeah. Tiffany for letting that one dude, letting that dude, that one dude hit for 750 pair. I mean, that's that's, that's how you blame Tiffany. I'm not blaming sneakers app. Sneakers app, sneakers app does fair game. You got to get on in and just hope, hope you get through. I mean, that's the game, man. That's the game. But Chris, Tiffany man. letting that one dude hit for 750 pairs. You got to blame them. I don't think he hit for no 750 pairs, man. Listen, man, that, that report's been going around for a little minute now. Everybody writing in the comments, cancel every order. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, I don't know why. Yo, listen, this this the problem with this generation. If I hit on 750 pairs of joints, nobody going up. I, I thought I was going to like, if, nobody I hit on, going if, I on, if I hit on 20 pairs from one site, I'm not telling nobody. So nobody gonna know. Nobody gonna. You ain't gonna know until what I mean? start pulling up. So I pull up and I'm like, y'all got these for sale. You wanna buy? Yeah, man, most definitely, man. He um, said, yeah, the white and black ones. They um, they came out with again. But since we since we since we on the Air Force One topic, right? He said, know. funny thing is the Supreme white or black uptowns cost less than the stock white or black uptowns. James, what's good? James, what up, Chuck? James, what's good? What's good, my G? What's, what's going on? What up? What up? What up? What it look like, man? Since we in the Air Force Ones, we're going to keep it going, man. Nike has decided to Yo, show I love to Jackie Robinson, you. and they gave him an Air Force One. Remember last year, they gave him a dunk last year around the same time. This year, he gets an Air Force One. Um, I have mixed feelings on those. Um, I feel like the 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 all gum bottom sole is not a go, but I like everything else on it. I feel um, like if, I feel like if they would have put a white sole, gum bottom, or white sole, sole, blue bottom, it would have been a different kind of conversation, man. But that, these are the hold on, Chris. But these these are collectors' item, man. Um, I like it, man. I like them celebrating Jackie Robinson every year with a shoe. I like this. Yeah, like, but I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna do this every year, but they are. This is the two years in a row, so All hopefully right, but we can the, get this going. <laughs> so hopefully we can keep this going for now on. Man, go ahead, Chris. Bro. Now I was gonna say, but hopefully they let everybody get them because they never really put them dunks on anywhere you could really cop them. Like I ain't even know how. Had them on the sneakers app. I ain't seen them on the sneakers app. They was on the sneakers app. I don't remember seeing they them, but. It was on the season after the show. People had them. I seen mad people had them before Nike even put out a date for them. Yeah, um, I I don't really remember last year. I don't remember, but I know I know that they was on the sneakers app. They was on the sneakers app, man. So he gets another Air Force One expected to be released next month. No price point though, but they will be on the sneakers app April. Um, I like it. I love that 42 back there, man. And then red, that's fire. Clean, man. Clean. Got the jean material slash canvas material swoosh. Got the tumble gray level. Can't go wrong with these, man. These are clean. These are clean. The only thing is, I agree with Chris. I don't like the soul. I don't like the soul. You got the 1947, 1956. You, know, you got the stitching of the baseball on the back. That's a good, I like that. That's a good detail going on there. Yeah, man. Definitely could have do a different soul on there. On the shoe, on the on the laces, it says change the world. So you can't go wrong with that. Change the world. Um, let me read some of these comments, man. Uh uh, hold on one second, yeah. 42 is clean. I just want to leave it on somewhere. Uh Mr. Four said, I see they coming, they coming out with some all gray LeBron Zoom generations. I have not seen those yet. Um Mr. Four said that blue, that blue bottom would have killed it. Would have killed it with the white soul. Fire. Fire, man. Um, I appreciate everybody in the building, man. But if you are in the building, if you you have forgot to hit the like button, please hit that like button please guys i appreciate it yeah that, the, the 42 look mean in the back right 
That 42 in the red. That joint looked mean back there. I mean, these is fire right here, bro. I thought I sent those to you earlier, but I forgot I did it. I just don't like the, the gum bottom is what, that gum bottom is what threw me off. Like that I'm part just I was like, it could have been a way better bottom than that. I don't, I was like, I don't know if they're trying to like do like the whole baseball feel, like you know, the dirt, the baseball, right. the Dodgers unif like the uniform colorways and all that stuff. Like I mean not I said Dodgers, whatever. I forgot Dodgers, what you're right. Dodgers, 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 blue, you know, all that with the baseball stitching. Mm -hmm. That's why I thought they put that like that gum bottom like that for like the, the, the dirt on the on the on the um baseball, the baseball field. field. A clear bottom or another bottom would have been even fire. Yeah, um I don't like the all clear bottom sole. Like the whole sole, the mid sole, everything is this clear bottom. I don't like that. I think that they should have went with like a uh maybe like a a, a white mid sole and then put the gum bottom on the bottom. That would have been a better look for the shoe and i'm not a big and they're not good and on top of that i'm not a big fan of all one color soles yeah but what's that in the front like you see how it look like a whole different color yeah it's tumble leather it's tumble leather yeah mm -hmm. i was just i was just saying that when, when you when i you didn't see that yeah that's tumble that's tumble leather on the laces it says change the world they got a lot of different materials on this shoe they got regular you said, regular. You huh? said it has i, I have one more away for a minute yeah, you went on for a second. Yeah, because somebody was trying to sign into my Apple ID. <laughs> I don't know, oh, like, serious. Yeah, they be wilding out here. Yeah, yeah. When, when you went on, I didn't know you was off until I went. I went back and you wasn't on it. But yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. But yeah, these is clean right here, man. These is fire right here, man. Fire. Yeah, that's 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 love. I like that's a nice collection piece. Like you said, to have that in the dunks would have been. A five collector's item both to have right um so and, and so we're gonna jump off this topic real quick oh the two is what they're going for he said that's not bad i i don't know i said definitely like let me see what happens this game we definitely gonna we're gonna chop it up because i got to see what happens with these threes first that's my only mission right now is them threes um we're gonna jump into the next topic chris i'm gonna let you lead the way when they pop up you can just go from there because this is your domain right here man so you see the two plays that's on the screen man I ain't, all right i ain't gonna hold you 40 million is a lot all right well hold on hold on, hold on. you have to ex explain everything man explain the deal right. explain what he got explain so, what the so other he player got, got he got he got he got four years no 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 daniel jones got daniel all right because they know what i'm talking about because i saquon got franchise tag yeah, he got what franchise did. for what we knew what was gonna happen. He got franchise for 10 million. 10, yeah, 10 his, his, 1 million. His, his base salary went up a couple of million. Um Daniel Jones got four years, 160 million, 60 million. I believe. 160 million. 160 million. 80, 82 guaranteed, 82 million guaranteed, and like another 30, I believe, in incentives, mm. which basically rounds out his contract to about 40 million per year. We mm. all know quarterbacks get the bag in the NFL. But my big issue with this is the quarterbacks that get the bag has proven why they deserve that bag. This is Daniel Jones' first good year. I'm going to say, oh, okay, yeah. Let me say, okay, yeah. Because he, you know what I mean? He only threw 15 touchdowns. He ran for another 15, but he ain't really have no outstanding crazy numbers where you be like all right he's going to be that dude going forward yes he's under a better coach and a better organization we do need wide receiver help all around the board for the giants to really showcase if he's worth that 40 million mm -hmm. but that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot of a, of, of a, a showing of one year you know what um, I mean? uh my 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 thoughts on there my thought my thoughts on this situation is uh he did win a playoff game led them to the playoffs won a playoff game and you know you know of course they lost to philly and all that but he, he took a huge step 
He took a huge step in the, in, the, in the right direction. So I feel like the contract, I'm mean, 40 million a year is kind of crazy, but I feel like the contract is warranted. You know, he was going to be a free agent and Chris had warned us that this was going to happen. He said they were going to sign Daniel Jones and they were going to franchise tag Saquon Barkley. So that's exactly what happened. So shout out to Chris for knowing about his bum. I mean, knowing about his team. And yeah, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> Oh, shout, uh, shout out to Gabe! Shout out to Gabe with the with the one ninety nine super chat. He says, uh, "Joker for MVP, Padres for two thousand and twenty three World Series champs." Chris, yeah, how I do you feel about that? Uh, the, you talking about steroid tattoos? I mean, um, oh no, <laughs> yeah, uh, Padres. Uh, listen, <laughs> all, all jokes aside, all jokes aside, the Padres got a lineup that's crazy. The big question with the Padres is. A, well, it's the same thing with every team. Health. <clears throat> and how, just like the Yankees, if you're pitching because uh, last. Um, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like the Yankees, well, well, I feel like they have some pitching. They just don't have enough pitching. That's what I'm saying. Like the I, Padres I like got I... two solid pitches. Musgrove and, um, what, um, Darvish? Uh, possibly, possibly. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm not too sure, man. I feel because like I a... believe Clevenger he might be getting suspended because he's having some legal issues off the field. Oh, no, 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 he got clear, he got clear, he got clear. He's good, Clevenger, yeah, Clevenger, he's clear. He got definitely got clear. Gabe, they could get Aaron Rodgers all they want. <laughs> uh, Mr. Four said, Yo, it's like nine people in here, man. Hit. Hit, hit, the hit the like just like I did, man. Thank you, man. It's gladly appreciated, man. Um, um, you have some yeah, um what Gabe, Gabe says ha, ha, he said, York, go ahead. Gotta read it, read, read it, read it. He said, ha, ha, New York Giants get Daniel Jones and the Jets will get Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> That'll be crazy. Yo, if the Jet if the Jets get Aaron Rodgers, that may be kind of crazy man let's keep it real and rogers man make it how much he makes it was it 60 million a year if he gets traded yeah about 60 million a year you can give that man 60 million that's insane man that's a lot of money man uh benjamin folks said nobody takes the giants seriously wow chris would, would, would you like to rebuttal that chris or you benjamin, like, for, like rock? You, benjamin for who's your team again he's from detroit he's a lions fan oh my gosh <sighs> it's nothing to even say about y'all like uh, Mr. That's going to be a problem. Don't get me wrong. This upcoming year, the, the Lions should be a problem, but we're not going to sit here and talk about the Giants. I mean, the, the Lions. Yeah, I haven't won a Super Bowl since when? Won a Super Bowl? <laughs> when? I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't know if they ever won one. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, Mr. Right, Force. We the same age. Your lifetime. I, I know. I don't think they ever won one. Did you since. ever see them in the playoffs in your lifetime? Yes, they made the playoffs uh, a couple years back. A couple years back, they made the playoffs. If, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, they made the play. They ain't make no noise. They ain't make no noise, but they they made the playoffs when they. I think they lost in the wild card game or something. The Cleveland Guardians. You know what's the problem with the Cleveland Guardians? They don't got enough offense. Slow, they don't have they enough offense. Hot, and then it's just like they make it to the playoffs out of. I'm not gonna say out of nowhere because they they got Terry Francona as a coach and he's a good coach. That's right, but it just well, be like you know. No, nah, I give him his respect. I give him his credit. Well, you he's a know. Coach. We, 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 where do you know he's a good coach from? Anyway, Tatis did did <laughs> <a good> steroid. <laughs> he had a wingworm and took medication for it. If you hey yo, nah, 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 I know a lot of people that had wingworms and didn't take what he took. So you can't hold do on, that. Chris, hold on, Chris. Hold on, hold on, hold on. To Gabe's comment. <laughs> Gabe. Stop the cat. Gabe, Stop you know what makes game. Gabe, you know what makes that comment crazy? Is that he said he got that prescription from his mother. Boy, you gonna try to blame it on your moms now? I, that's what had me dying. You trying to blame this on your moms? You can't just take that lawsuit by yourself. You're gonna put your moms involved in this? Come on, bro. Yo. Oh man. I'm not hating. I gave Detroit. I think that's gonna be a problem this year, but stop acting like the four. Uh, uh, yeah, Mr. Ford. Now, Mr. Ford is a Cleveland Guardians fan. 
No, no, he and he and he. Uh, uh, all right, no, I said the I said the Cleveland Guardians be they start off slow, they they get they start getting hot and they make it to the playoffs. And this is I was going to say be out of nowhere, but then I said no, nah, I give it to Terry Francona because he's a good coach. I'm not hating on the Cleveland Guardians. Also, also, also I just don't another, like their name. Now, also on another note, man, they they the real reason why they they have it issues is that is because they have they don't have enough hitting. They have enough pitching. They have a great pitching staff in Cleveland. They just don't have enough hitting. And that's where they run into problems in the playoffs. That's why, you know, they had the Yankees against the ropes. They could have finished them, but they let them, they let them back in. It didn't matter. The Yankees only went on to play four more games anyway. It didn't matter. You know? But anyway, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It was more than it was born in the West Side. Anyway, worry about us. Lions, worry about beat, us Lions beat the Giants this year. They did. And no, he, he, said, he, said, he, said, he, he said they will be better. No, he said beat well, the come, Giants. I'm, I'm mad. Time. Yo, it's sixty-seven comments in here. Y'all way behind. No, they did. No, the 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 um the Detroit Lions did beat the Jets and Giants this year. They did. I'm not listen. Anything can happen on Football Sunday. We know that. That's why I really don't bet on football games. Anything can happen. Uh, somebody said. Yo, what? I'm wait. Yo, oh, I, I caught him. I caught him. I caught him. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't know what just happened there on the screen. The Giants. Yeah. The Giants just need wide receiver help. The Giants need wide receiver help. Oh, um, yeah, I feel like they need they need number one. Our offensive, our offensive line should be better this year because now they're gonna have a full year under their belt of working together. You gotta remember we had a rookie and um Neil. Mm-hmm. We had Thomas coming off of injury from last year. He had offseason surgery. He you gotta think about these is two Neil should be way better with a year experience on his belt. Thomas basically didn't even really allow a sack this year. If you really look at his stats, he had one of the best years at his position for anybody. And then, like I said, we have no wide receivers. Yeah, man. Um, it was good. It was, it was good for y'all to have Saquon back. You know that yeah. instantly helped the offense. <laughs> instantly, you gotta read Gabe comment at the bottom. <laughs> Gabe says mom used to work at Walgreens pharmacy. <laughs> yo, Gabe, bro. Yo, Gabe. Yo, you lucky I ain't gotta stop the cap. Oh, yo. Game hold on, hold on. I, got, I got one for him. I got one for him, Chris. <laughs> Gabe got me dying right now. You know why? Because I just saw it on the news this morning. Uh, I think LA is not gonna be working with Walgreens no more. Like LA. And like the city of the, the state of LA, yeah. They're not gonna be doing nothing with Walgreens. It was some crazy shit they put on the news this morning. He said, That's "Chris, crazy. Giants need quarterback help and wide receiver help." How are you gonna sit here and say they need quarterback help when Daniel Jones had a, a good season? Yeah, this a good year. season last year. He had a good season this year. Yeah, most definitely. I definitely agree with if that. If you man. if you think Jared Goff is gonna have another good second half of the, of a season like he did last year, Benjamin and Gabe, I don't know what y'all what y'all talking about. Jerry Goff is wishy-washy. We're going old school, wishy-washy. He is not it. Y'all can pull up on the screen right now if y'all want to. Yeah, y'all can pull up. We always put y'all the link in there. Up. Y'all can pull up. Hold on. I got, one. I, got, I got one more shoe. One more shoe to bring up real quick. We uh, always trying to get you guys to come on, on the podcast. Y'all can pull up. Only one that pulled up so far is JB. All right, so... Kiff and New Balance is due for another collaboration, and this is what it is. That's too much white for me. Uh, New Balance 993 Pistachio colorway for Black Friday for this season for this year coming up, man. Um, two ten price point, two ten price point. I like these, Chris. You tripping? No, I said if something else come out during the holidays, like Jesus. This is hard right here. Like I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. That beige. See, that no, the gray, first picture, the first picture fire. made it like it was all white. This is fire right here, man. That first picture, that first picture made it like it was all white with a little bit of uh, color in the in the box, in the toe box. But I like, I like that little gray in the front. Yeah, these is hard right here, man. What y'all think about these in the chat, man? Um, but that shouldn't come out in black box. That should come out during the summer. Great job, Kiff. Great job, New Balance, man. Y'all had to get a, you know, gotta start two using the actions more. Two, two ten, ten price ten. point. Two ten price point is not bad for these. These are clean. These is clean right here. Yeah, see, Gabe said it, Chuck. 
what? Cali isn't working with Walgreens anymore, allegedly. I seen that on the news this morning. I was confused as to how does Cali and Walgreens have any business ship to, with each other. Like, I didn't get that. I did not see that on the news. Woo! Now, nah, these is hard body karate right here, man. But why come out in the wintertime? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, you should drop that in the summertime. That's like, uh, you want to wear that in the summertime with shorts and stuff. Uh, nah, it's just March. March 10th, 2023. Black Friday. That's what it said. I'm just saying what you said. You said Black Friday. Now you're saying it's at March. Look, man, right here. Follow me exclusive. New Valence 993 Pistachio Colorway for Black Friday. Kip is ready to release. It's getting ready to release its next 993 makeup as a part of the 2023 Spring 101 collection. So I'm guessing this originally came second, out man. Black Friday. Or oh, they have something that came out in Black Friday and this is a new yeah. color. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. I, I about to say that's that color's too hard to be wearing in the winter time. Uh so these come out Friday. This Friday? This Friday, 210 price point. <laughs> this Friday, 210 price point, man. Um I, I like to have no no consideration for people's pockets. They don't care if you buy another shoe with another company. <laughs> Yeah, they have no they don't care at all bro. Damn. they don't not Damn. care at all bro why would they care if you if you trying to spend money with another company they only care about what they got going on. that might sit though this for a week nah they ain't saying man uh they might sit for a week because it is them jordans is coming out this week and everybody trying to get their hands on those uh i'm gonna call you ki ki said kip usually blesses me with early access so i'm hoping Tomorrow or Thursday, they come through with it, man. I hope so for you too. Right. This is a clean colorway. I like how these look. I like how these put together, man. Um, Gabe said, Where's the Kiff branding though? I don't see any Kiff branding on there, Gabe. None. It's not in the tongue. Nah, they, there's no like, I guess these are like on foot product pictures. There are no regular product pictures on Have here. I heard the rumor that this might be why they won't bring back NBA. New Balance One custom program because they keep bringing out these sample colorways and charge more by calling them collabs. Mm. Maybe. I mean, yeah. oh, it has I to mean, do with B. Oh, go ahead. Let me stop. I mean, K. I, I mean, smart business move by them. But I think I, I think I think a lot of these collaborations are made with the stores and stuff like that. So I'm I'm sure. You know, like the stores that have an input on what colors and, and things they want on the shoe, whatever like mm -hmm. range, range of creativity that that uh New Balance is give it gives each you know um collaboration. So, um, if they do bring, but I don't, they too hot right now to bring back um the custom program. Too hot, yeah, too hot right now. Like it. It, it'll literally be selling out back yeah, to back. To back, to back. It. It's too hot right now, so they they. I don't think they would bring that back. It wouldn't make it wouldn't make sense business wise. Mm -hmm. uh, Gabe said it has to do with Plan B and Walmart not selling it in the their stores in certain states. New York sells Plan B, so. <laughs> uh, Mr. Four said Chuck do do a sneaker review on the threes. I was going to, but. I'm sure there's like 15,000, 7,900, 50 million sneaker right, reviews, but, uh, reviews of that shoe. So I was like, I'm not even going to waste my time, man. So I sent Chuck a clip earlier for Instagram, and I told him when he receives his threes to check it because apparently there are a bunch of threes circulating with either the, the leather being messed up already on the shoe, people getting the same side shoe, like they getting two left, two right feet, um some of the elephant print on some of the sneakers has been messed up so anybody that has gotten access to the shock drop or exclusive access and are waiting their sneakers to arrive this week make sure you check them out when you get the box because there's a lot of stuff going around with them threes right now i do got one thing to say though i do got one thing to say nike stop using that stupid box bro What's that right? box that that box that y'all sitting in these shoes in these days is stupid the one we gotta rip it to rip the piece yeah but the bottom of it is not secure bro when i got my pair you can yeah. literally look in the box bro like i didn't even open it already yeah I didn't, I didn't even open the box i just i just pulled the the bottom part up i thought i thought you said it's coming tomorrow or you got it nah, nah, it's 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 it. they here okay. they here yeah
That's because Nike trying to be they trying to stop people from stealing packages because you know how they was putting that Nike tape on that. Yeah, but they but, but yeah, but they can still 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 a package regardless with that box. That box is not secure on the bottom. They don't even I got to secure the box. box. They secure they the bottom their, of the box, bro. They were stealing it right out of out of the foot. Excuse my French. Out of the uh, depots of FedEx, so it didn't matter about the damn box. Nah, because you're not you're not hearing me, bro. Nah, no, I see what you're saying. Like the they were taking it out the, the bottom box. of the box. No, yeah. no, 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 no. The box through 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 all the shipping and everything, right? When your shoes being shipped to you, right? It's being shipped and moved to you. By the time it gets to you, the bottom of the box, it's like an in, inward like this. They dent. It so was like dented. so like it's dented in, so you can just put your hand in it, grab the box out. Oh wow, that's crazy. Like it's not they 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 need to fix that, bro. Let me they see if I can put let me see if I can put, put it up. They need to put that foam around the boxes like some companies used to do back in the day. Cause I hate the fact that, like you just said, when you get your sneakers <clears throat> in the mail. The boxes be dented, then your your sneaker box is dented, and it just like I be feeling like you just devalued my sneaker if I try to sell this. Like, <laughs> also there's a nine nine two that was released some time ago that has the same colorway. The pistachios nine nine three didn't have the Kip branding either. Hold on, I'm trying to find this box here. Yeah. See, I can see. I'm sure people probably got. And they were trying to say, somebody tried to put up a post saying Nike going to start putting the sizes on the boxes they ship it to you in. I was like, that'd be the stupidest thing Nike could ever do. So this this right here is, is what I'm saying. I don't know if y'all can see it. Chris, can you see this? Yeah. So you see that top part right there? That mm -hmm. part was inside the box when I got my shoe. Oh, no, nah, they disrespectful. Like, they need to stop shipping shoes in these boxes. This box is stupid. <laughs> And you gonna, if, if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna secure the top part of this box secure the bottom part too and just do the same thing don't have this box like this because it's an end it goes inward you can just pull it out and nike needs to remember also that these these delivery companies don't care they just be throwing your boxes on the truck throwing right. it around like so they're not handling that them sneakers with care so they don't care because they don't got them right they definitely gonna be hating on the person receiving them yeah, man. If yo, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. If I was in the hood, bro, I wouldn't have got them threes today. I would have got a box, but it wouldn't have been no threes in there. Take that much. <laughs> tell you that much, bro. So I'll tell you that for yeah. sure, bro. For sure, uh, Chris, I promise you. My 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 FedEx guy. Nah, the Kip the, the Kips the the Kip and um the Kip New Balance collaboration dropped Friday. Friday, not Thursday. No, uh, uh, somebody said they they get early access from Kim, so he's hoping he gets the early access between K I K K K I. Yeah, K -I, K -I so he gets yeah. early access, so he's hoping to get early access. But the official drop date is Friday. My my favorite guy, he left, so I gotta I gotta I gotta start watching these new dudes delivering that them sneakers. Yeah, man, they going crazy, man. Um, everybody, if you have not contributed to the um. The poll question, please contribute. We're about to start chopping it up about that. Um, I'm, I'm officially, I'm officially excluding myself from all music topics for now and on. I'm leaving it up to Chris and Gabe. <laughs> Don't leave nothing up to me. I'm, leave, I'm leaving it up to y'all. Whatever y'all say goes. I'm, just, I'm, I'm Yo, I'm let me tell you something. Real quick, Chuck, Chuck put this poll up so he could get, I could get all the smoke because he know nah, I'm, nah, I'm an nah, R&B nah. thug. Nah, nah, nah. nah. The reason the, the reason why I put it up because it, it it was a dope it was a dope um it was a dope topic. Nah. I couldn't think of another topic, so I just threw that one up, man. It ain't on top of that. He's already on the music thing. All right. Mm. So K I wanna... said, hey, hold on, hold on. K I said, do y'all use the hole for pickup option? I mean, you could, yeah, yeah. And you could, if they you give you the option, you could. You nah, you 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 can you can use it. Uh. Mr. Ford said, I'm happy I stay in a good neighborhood because all my sneaker packages would have been gone. <laughs> That's a fact, bro. That's what I've been doing. I've been I, stay Chris, in the, I stay in a good neighborhood, too. <laughs> I stay in a good neighborhood. Oh, I just think them FedEx and UPS guys know better. We be, turn, so, we be turning it up. I don't yeah, get my man. package. It'd be a lot, so, a lot, a lot of... Um, like Gabe said, vote on the poll. Hit the like button, people. Let's go. So we're gonna go to the poll. The poll is who you think is a better group, 112 or Jagged Edge? We only got 10 votes. Hold on, because we only got 10 votes. We got 14 people in the building. What's going on? 
What's what the votes is, looking like? What's the poll looking like right now? Polls looking like a landslide right now, man. Ten Ooh. votes. We got one twelve, man, with an eighty percent. With an eighty percent, though. So it's fourteen people in here. Y'all got We got them four people. Y'all slacking. Y'all slacking. Y'all got to get them votes in. So the reason why I'm going with group one twelve, room one twelve. For me personally, I like both groups. I listen to both groups to this day. I have a whole folder in my phone that has a mixture of 112 and Jagged Edge music. The reason I'm going 112, number one, they was part of one of my favorite record labels of all time, Bad Boy. They came out with, they came out with, Jagged Edge did too, don't get me wrong. Jagged Edge, they came out with great music too. But it just, I don't know. It was just, if you grew up in that bad boy era, they couldn't miss with nothing. Diddy had that game on Smash with the record label. So everything 112 dropped was the Smash hit. For me, when 112 fell off a little is when they left bad boy and went to So So Def. I mean So So Def, um, um, Def Jam, R&B or Def Jam South, whatever the hell that Def Jam other off branch label was under the Def Jam umbrella, and then like their mu- like it did the music wise, the content and how the and the frequency of the music just wasn't the same for me. You know what I mean? Now mm-hmm. when it comes to Jagged Edge, I like Jagged Edge music. Jagged Edge did more love making like love songs than real like party songs the party songs they do have is all fire you know what i mean but let's get married yeah but let's get married what a party you at do, you got no but you got remember let's get married there's the r&b the singing one and then you got the party one with rev yeah. one so both of those was fire songs hit, but hit joints both of those was hit joints man. both of those was hit joints classics because i i got those both in my playlist too so like i said you can't go to me you can't go wrong with either one but it's just like for me, that bad boy era, especially growing up in New York, was different. I, you could say the same thing for anybody that grew down south. They probably say that so so death era was different. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if you see and if, if you've seen the verses between 112 and Jagged Edge, it was only like two members of 112 there and the whole group of Jagged Edge. 112 was just it, that was like a landslide victory for 112. In that versus peaches, like you said, gay peaches and cream. Um, the list goes on. I could name you mad 112 songs. You already know. Uh, you got uh, dance with me. This is only you, only you remix. This is mad songs 112 got that you just be like, you 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 won't want to skip none of those songs. I mean. What the chat say, man? What the chat looking like, man? I'm trying All to. Right, I'm trying. So, are right, we going to go back? Um, Gabe said vote. So from Gabe, Gabe said it's over now. That's a 112 song, man. I'm about to go vote. <laughs> James Jerome said he about to go vote. <laughs> he wasn't voting earlier. Didn't 112 and Jagged Edge do a versus challenge? Yeah, they did a versus challenge. 112 won that, in my opinion. By the way, on the Romero's convo, convo Nike missed the boat with the, that shoe a long time ago when they had. The ACW collab, they should have moved off the momentum um, Samuel Ross brought to those shoes. I guess. I didn't know about Romero like that, so I don't really, I can't tell you to speak on that. Yeah, Gabe, 112 smoked up them boots. They did. 112 had the Jordan 11 Concourse in the video. Yep. Remember they had that song with Beanie Siegel? That's uh, Dance With Me. Then they went into Peaches and Cream. Trisha and Cream was a banger. 112 featuring Mace. I asked my wife the question and she's still thinking about it. Laugh out loud, Mr. Ford said. Caillou Five went questions. to Def, Def, Def Soul. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, they it was something with Def Jam. Like they had the they had different umbrellas. They had like Def Jam um Island and then they, they had different branches under that Def Jam umbrella. And that's where they kind of lost me at. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Once they left, once they left Bad Boy, man, the, it was over. 112 for Mr. Ford. I can't listen to either. You can't listen to either, Benjamin. 
Benjamin, you a dog, you a shooter, huh? Cause you you like the hardcore music. You got can't be you can't just be out here listening to hardcore music, Benjamin. My wife chose one twelve over jagged edge. I'm telling you, Gabe. That uh, you can't go like I said, you can't go wrong with neither. But one twelve is just that group. The Knicks have lost to the Charlotte Hornets. Oh man! Side note: that nine game win streak is officially over. Vito. Officially over, man. But shout out to them, man. Shout out to the Knicks yeah. playing good ball right now. Yeah, they had New York in a little frenzy right now. Your wife is a smart woman, Gabe. Tell her we said thanks for the thanks for her input. Thanks for her vote. Most definitely. He said I can't even play rap before noon. That's a fact, Ki. I can't. I dropped my niece and nephew off to school. I gotta listen to some some mellow music. Like I can't. I don't. I don't even like watching the news because it's just like it's always about murder. Like I don't. No negative energy in the morning. Excuse me, sir. You can't say that word on here, sir. What? What you just said. Don't say, don't, don't say it no again. No negative energy? No, no. Or the before that? Yeah, yeah. Don't say, don't say that word on, 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 you, on YouTube. Yeah, black yeah. Uptown. yeah. The Black oh, Uptown, yeah. The black Uptown's got you. It's too much Black Uptown no, news in the morning for me. Uh, Benjamin Fool said, only R&B I can tolerate is Anita Baker and Sade. day. He took it back with classic <laughs> classics. Uh, Jerome yeah. said it's crazy every time I hear promise. But that was um <laughs> somebody was seriously cutting onions. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, Jerome, you a wild boy. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm crying. Like crying. Like <laughs> yo, I'm crying. Hey no, um Gabe B Gabe, that was the uh so fly. That's one of my favorite joints with short, shorty low and slim um slim from one twelve. Oh yeah, the show flies. And they, had the yeah, remix, was... they had the remix with uh Young Jock. Hey yo, his name ain't Slim no more, you heard? Yo. His name is Biggie. It's not Slim oh, no more, man. Yo. He's the S the L the I L. He said, let me tell you what I wanna do. He just said it was a freaky song if you really listen to it. I like, yo, these dudes had us in school singing this crazy song. Oh, let me check the poll. Oh, somebody voted. Somebody voted for Jagged Edge. On the low, somebody voted for Jagged Edge. They got 27% right now. Peaches and Cream was a freaky song. We was all singing in junior high school and elementary. Yeah, like, it'd be like that from time to time. Was, you know? Yo, and then you... <laughs> be I'm like driving that. home listening to 112 today. Thank you, guys. Anita Baker was will make... Makes me want to slip my wrist. She always impressive sounding. Even her happy songs are sad. <laughs> 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 That's the you know, I'm done. I, I'm crying right now. He said, "Slim oh, kind of God. sounded like Aaron Neville." Who? Neville. I don't know who that is. I don't, I don't know, know who Aaron is. Aaron is. <laughs> they voted. Fresh out the shower. Well, Mr. Four said they voted and left quick. <laughs> You're right. Next poll, Anita versus Sade. I don't listen. I'm not one of those ladies. I'm going to keep it real to you. Nah, man. Next poll. Yo, yo, yo. Question. Question for y'all. Question for y'all. Which I think the next poll question should be, man. What do y'all think the next poll question should be, y'all? Maze Mr. versus Fabulous. Let me stop. Mr. Mr. Four said 16 people in here hit the like, man. It's a life. Gabe, 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 Gabe said Gabe. Anita Baker was a freak. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Gabe said the S, the L, the I, the M. Nah, that was, yo, this is hilarious. Y'all coming for Anita Baker. Yo, <laughs> KI, KI said. KI going Baker. crazy with Anita Baker. Nasty work. That's a fact, bro. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it right now, too, because I still say the. Nah, there's a lot of freaky ladies in the, in, in, the, in the music industry. Yo, Thanks. listen, listen, wow, listen, stuff. listen, listen. This is not this is not what this chat is about. No, I'm just saying. I'm thinking to myself. I said they said they said some wild stuff. I'm not going to repeat what they said, but they said some wild stuff for ladies. Mr. Four said, "What was the best Rocky movie?" Ooh, the one with the the one when he fought that's Drago. Cool. Which one is that? That's Rocky two. That's Rocky. Uh, Rocky three. Three. 
three. Yeah, Rocky three was fire. So when he fought Drago, bro, if he die, he said if he dies, he dies. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> nah, I can't. I can't do that one. I gotta do the one with my man, um, Mr. T. That's Rocky two, right? No, that's like four. He fought him after uh, Drago. Gabe said. The fabulous still Mace's flow. Next poll. <laughs> I said, I just, she gave you listening because I said Mace versus fabulous. That would be a good poll because they basically the same kind of, kind of, kind of rapper. Like they try to be that pretty boy rapper. Um, I will have to say, I answer that. On I don't the poll. know. Put that on the poll. I ain't gonna answer I that. I don't know. Uh, Chaos said Anita Baker look like her breath smells like Newports and hot motor oil. I'm out of here, yo. I'm about to end the live, yo. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's at 850 PSI. <laughs> KI, you are killing Anita Baker right now. Yo, wow. So wild. if you go to them albums, I'm going to tell you right now. Jagged Edge's best album. I can't say the name. But so the one with they all on the motorcycles? Nah. It starts with an H. I don't know, bro. You're asking the wrong person, bro. Nah, I'm, I'm telling you what it starts with. I'm not going to say it. I, mean, I can say it, but I'm going to tell you right now. Pause. No more. None of the above. It's called Hard. That's why I said I don't want to say it. Jagged Edge. What's up with your man? Hey, yo. Um, K.I. said, nah, Mace. Wasn't a pretty boy at first. Never forget that. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, Diddy made me pretty. You already know the vibes. Uh, Jerome said Stone Cold or The Rock. That's a good one. I wish I would have thought of that one. That's a real good one. I'm going with, you know who I'm riding with, man. Stone Cold or The Rock. We can do that right now. I'll put that in the chat right now, y'all. That's a good one. Nah, I'm going to leave this one up. But, yo, listen. I'm going with Stone Cold, bro. Stone Cold over the rock for me. Benjamin Fo said next poll should be LL Cool J or Will Smith. Stop playing games, bro. Stop playing games, bro. You're not doing no more Will Smith. I don't even want to talk. Matter of fact, we're gonna wait till Chris come back. I'm not even talking about no more. No, no. <laughs> I'm not talking about no more Will Smith. Nothing. No more, yo. No more. Uh, Chaos said, Children of the Corn, Mace was grimy. Yeah, he was, man. He was spitting that fire back then, too. Now, Mace always been fire his whole career, man. Shout out to Mace. Mace and Bethel, man. He been spitting fire, man. Uh, Gabe. Gabe said, huh? Then he said, huh? At Chris? Yeah, he was wilding with that, with the name of the album, right, from Jagged Edge. He was definitely tripping. I don't know what he was talking about or, or, or what was what was his mind. He was, he was wilding. He was wilding. Nah, nope. I'm not even mentioning his name no more on here no more. I'm not even mentioning his name no more on here, man. Y'all got the two lives in a row. Y'all was wilding on me. Nah, I'm straight. I'm straight with you. I'm straight. I'm straight. Y'all want to talk about something else? Nike or Adidas? That's easy. Nike all day. Adidas ain't even... They struggling right now. It's definitely Stone Cold over the rock, though. Stone Cold over the rock. That's easy. Jerome, who you picking? Stone Cold over the rock. Who you picking, Jerome? Nobody call LL Cool J Big Ellie or Big City. <laughs> Yo. You know what's crazy? Now that you mentioned it, I don't know why he started the verse off like that. They called me Big L.A. <laughs> Y'all don't know why he even did that. That was nasty work. Uh, Mr. Ford, that's a good one. Kanye or Drake, that's a good one. Um, Gabe says, Mace or Baby Main? Chill, you wildin', bro. Baby Main ain't heavy. Rest in peace, Baby Main. Yo, rest in peace, Baby Main. That's the old New York Harlem. Harlem. Harlem, man. Uh, K uh, Chaos said, Baby May. Yeah, Baby May ain't here no more. Rest in peace, then. Yeah, 
Yeah, but this was a good this was a good live, yeah. We turned up in here. We definitely turned up in here. Jerome said I gotta go Stone Cold too. This yo, bro. Yo, when Stone Cold came out, once you heard that glass break, it was a wrap, son. That glass broke once you hear that dun, 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 it was over. It was over. Once you heard that glass break, bro, it was a done deal. Speaking of the glass break, you guys are familiar with a rapper by the name of Smoke Dizza? Smoke Dizza has a, um, he, uh, he's a big wrestling fan. So he came out with a bunch of tapes, like rhyming over, um, wrestling, like intro beats. Fire, bro. He got like, like four parts of them joints. Man, the first two is crazy. The first two is crazy. Mr. Four said, Bone Thugs or Do or Die? Bone Thugs? Gabe said, Gabe said, Drake is a bum. I mean, he not a, he ain't a bum. He just a, he just a bozo. Uh, K.I. said, if Drake, if Drake's a bum, I want to be a bum. <laughs> Gabe said, I'll cop the Supreme White. Uptowns over the drink uptowns all day. <laughs> Y'all wild in here. <laughs> Y'all wild in here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll say, yes, sir. I've been messing with this since the smoker club day. See, you be knowing. You be knowing. You be knowing. I mess with this. This got a dope podcast, too, man. I haven't got a chance to like really tap in. I've seen a couple episodes, I've seen the state property one. That was fire. I seen the um, I think the state property is the only joint I seen. Or um, Gabe said I mess with I mess with wrestling heavy. I used to, like once Stone Cold stopped wrestling, I stopped watching. I haven't watched wrestling since. Uh, uh, Mister Four said, "When you heard that glass, when you heard that glass, that was your boop." You know, you know, we gotta keep everything PG 13 on YouTube these days. Chaos said, right, you already know. Yo, my favorite era was like him, currency, Wiz Khalifa, Big Crit, that whole era with them, with them four. Fire, man. Fire. A lot of people don't know about that era right there, man. A lot of people don't know about that era. Gabe said, Bone Thugs. It's the first one of my year. Most definitely Bone Thugs all day. Um Jerome said, nah, I never heard of him. I'm about to look him. I'm about to look him up. The, yo, bro. I forgot the name of the tape. Matter of fact, let me look it up, bro. Let me look it up. Matter of fact, I gotta have it on my phone. Hold on. Hold on, bro. I'm gonna find it right now. Oh, I'm about to find it right now. I got you right now. I'm gonna tell you the name of the um. Auto correct be wildin', bro. Hold on. Find it right now. It's called Ringside. Ringside. Ringside two, three, four. Oh, he got a five. He got a part five too. I didn't hear part five. But he got a part four. Part three, part two. Part one is crazy too, man. Smoke this is fire though. Smoke this is definitely fire. Um, Jerome said one more six pack. I mean, one more since I just thought of it. Wolf pack or, or DX? Yo, yo, I don't know, bro, because I ain't gonna hold you, son. I ain't gonna hold you. WWF had it lit. WWF had it lit. They had Stone Cold, they had DX, they was lit. But that NWO situation they had on the other side of WCW was mayhem bro they was yo yo man shout out to nwo man original nwo man even even though i like the wolf pack better the black and red but nwo was lit man the black and white the first the first squad i ain't like it like when they started like everybody was an nwo man they had everybody they had eric bischoff they try to recruit me they had everybody in that joint bro they had way too many people in that joint um, Gabe said, 
Drake over here, wife and strippers, baby moms looking crazy. Yo, man, allegedly, allegedly, gotta say allegedly. Okay, I said red wolf pack or black and white wolf pack. I'm going with the OGs, man. I'm going with the black and whites, man. I'm going with the black and white, man. The black and white was crazy. Jerome says so. I'm gonna say NWO or DX. I'm going with NWO, man. I love I, yo. Don't get me wrong. I love what what DX was doing, but DX had a lot of help over there, man. NWO was holding it down for Dolo. Let's keep it true. NWO was holding it down for Dolo. Yo, you back? Yeah, 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 NWO was holding it down for Dolo. Um, for life, it was wild, man. KI, who the hell is that? That's your mom was on that track with him rapping over that Stone Cold beat. Oh, that's the homie. Okay, okay, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Hey, yo, yo, game, you gotta relax, bro. You gotta relax. You gotta get a reaction for that one, bro. Gotta get a reaction. You gotta put a pause on that, my G, even though you did. Supreme kick said, rest in peace, Razor Ramon. That's a fact. Rest in peace to Razor Ramon. Razor, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Razor Ramon was lit his whole career. That's nothing like towards the back end when they went back to, um, WWF, he was lit in a, when he first came on WWF. He was lit in WCW when they went over there, had the NWO lit. It was lit over there, man. I like the Red Wolf Pack too, because I, I like the, 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 I just like the red, the black and red look crazy. But the OG black and white was fire, man. I ain't gonna hold you. Gabe said WCW kicked in the door for real, man. Yo, yeah, man, WCW, yo, WCW on the low was kind of lit. Is it that WWF? They had everybody. They had Stone Cold, uh, DX, Undertaker, King. Who else was lit at that time? That's all you really needed right there, because that's all you really needed, but they had everybody was lit, bro. They had mad help. NWA ain't really, I mean, NWO ain't really have that much help. They didn't really have that much help. But they was lit, though. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. NWO was lit over there, man. Yeah, man. It was, wrestling was lit back in the days, bro. Wrestling was definitely lit. I ain't gonna hold you. Chris over there dealing with some work stuff, man. So we gotta take him off the page, man. Mr. Ford said, NW, I mean, um, he said WWE. Nah, nah, it's not WWE. It's WWF, bro. We keeping it OG, man. WWF. Where it went? Where's Jordan went? Deleted it? Oh, he deleted it. Oh, not right. WWF, ECW, WCW, or AEW. I'm going to keep it real. AEW is automatically off, off my list. I never even watched an episode of that. So they automatically off my list. Automatically off the rip. Um... ECW, I'm gonna tell you why ECW was lit. ECW, they was lit because they ain't really, they ain't wasn't following no rules, man. People was getting slammed on thumbtacks. They wrestling was looking a little more real than what it was looking on WWF and WCW. So ECW, they still gonna come in number three, but they definitely was doing their thing over there, man. Shout out to them, man. ECW was lit, man. They had Sandman, they had Rob Van Dam, they had who else was over there, bro? They had mad people over there at the ECW that was lit. The only thing I didn't like, though, like when people was going from, like when they did the merge, the ECW people, they had Taz. The ECW people ain't really get no love, yo. And that was whack, bro. That was whack. They ain't get no love like that. That was trash. Um, But yeah, man, so for me, it's always going to be I don't know, man, because I don't, I don't know if I can give WWF. You got to give WWF the number one spot, man. So WWF, WCW, ECW, and I don't know about no AEW. I never even watched them before, so I ain't really even speak on them. Games, and I'm watching, I'm watching WWE next right now. That's crazy, man. 
uh supreme kick said i need to tap in i need to tap into aew low key and see what's going on over there i don't watch wrestling no more man so i'm really i'm really out of it i'm tapped out man like once stone cold left once my ever left i left with it pretty much for the most part uh Hey, I said, rest in peace, New Jack. They had New Jack and ECW. They had, it was lit over there at ECW. Let's keep it real. Let's keep We were staying up Saturday night to watch ECW. I forgot what channel used to come on, but we were staying up Saturday night to watch ECW. Let's keep it real. Nah, yo, Gabe, I don't watch wrestling no more, man. I'm, I'm 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 tapped out. I'm I'm, I'm off the rest of the joint, man. Um, Jerome said, ECW they used to wrestle off acid, man. They also has Sabu and Tommy Dreamer. Yeah, they had mad people, bro. Mad people, bro. Like like ECW was lit, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. ECW was lit, bro. Facts. Yeah new, yeah, new Jack was a wild dude, man. New Jack was wild, man. Rest in peace to New Jack, man. Bad wrestlers done, you know, done the transition, then you know, left 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 life and all that, man. But shout out to shout out the wrestler, man. Cause wrestling, like they kind of that kind of like like groomed, you know, a, a lot of people like um childhoods and stuff like that, man. So we ain't have no social media back in the day. So wrestling was like that was our outlet, you know what I'm saying? The pay-per-views and then the Monday Night Wars. The Monday Night Wars was serious, bro. Like, when you went to school, like, when you was in school, you used to be like, yo, 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 who you rapping, B? Who you rapping? You with WCW or you or, or you with WWF, bro? Like, it was really like gangs in school, man. Like, <laughs> yo, yo, it was lit. It was lit over there, bro. Shout out, yo, shout out to wrestling, man. Shout out to wrestling, bro. Uh, Gabe said, rest in peace, New Jack, but he was a wild one for real. Yeah, he was wild, bro. He was wild. Uh, Jerome said, I got to go WCW. Them Luches had me hooked. Ray Mysterio still my favorite wrestler. Ray Mysterio, they had mad people, bro. Crazy to do all that stuff in the ring and then die of a heart attack before, you, before 60 in your home. Yeah, man. It's wild, bro. It's wild, man, bro. Wrestling was lit back in the days, bro. JB said, what's going on, JB? He said, after I got on ECW, I stopped watching WWF. I stopped watching wrestling after after eighth grade, though. Like I, I kind of stopped watching. Yeah, like I like like once I left, once I once I was going to high school, I wasn't watching wrestling no more. And that's when like Stone Cold left and all that. So it was a wrap after that. Once Stone Cold left, I was like, it's over. It's over, man. Once Stone Cold was gone, it was a wrap for me, man. Cause Stone Cold was my guy, man. Yo, yo, I, I can't hear you, son. Your sound back, yeah, back on. Come back in, yeah. He might have to come back in. Random, but anybody you been to South Carolina? What to do out here? <laughs> <laughs> I've been to South Carolina. <laughs> yo. Yo, what's good, my guy? Yeah, I've been to South Carolina. I don't know. You got to ask JB. Yo, JB. Supreme Kicks, he on, he on, he on a, a work trip right now. He in South Carolina. There's anything to do in South Carolina because JB be everywhere. What y'all was talking about? You talking about wrestling for a while long, bro. I was hearing you, but I had to lower down the volume because one of these tenants in my job came here complaining about something, bro. Regular, regular, regular. But yo, wrestling was lit back in the days, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Wrestling was yeah, definitely lit. What was the lit. question? Who? What was the better uh, wrestling company? Yeah, uh, yeah. WC. Nah, they was really asking like, what was better, like NWO or um DX? NWO. See, NWO was lit, bro. I ain't and, Wolf, and Wolfpack and Wolfpack. <laughs> 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 hey man, yo, they try to they try to bait me into another um um another uh poll. Yeah, they try to bait me. No, they try to bait me into another um. What was the poll gonna be? Uh, um um Jada Pickett's what? husband. Who? Jada Pickett's husband. 
I ain't say, I'm not saying his name no more. That's it. I'm done. I'm tapped out. <laughs> yo, yo, I might be ready. talking no more about him no more, bro. Jada Pick, right. Jada so Pick is Will, William Smith. Go ahead. Hey. Versus who? Versus LL. No, we're not doing that. That's not even a battle. We can't do that. I don't. I have no answer, so I think I'll save it to you when you come on. I leave that. I'm not going to even battle. That's that's LL. That's Mr. Fubu himself. We are not going to do that. Yo. Um, I was going to say something. I just forgot. They doing that. Lamar dirty. Lamar who? Lamar who? Uh, JB said, I missed out on the Tiffany ears. I had three other people cry. Yo, but JB. JB, hold on. Look, 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 look JB, hold on. Let me show you something real quick, JB. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the reason why you missed out. Another reason why you missed out. Hold on. Nah, you can't play that again. You're going to get copyright in front of Nah, uh, nah, nah, I can play it. I just can't play no sound. I can't have no sound on it. Nah, ain't no music. It's no music on mute. Bad boy or death row, Mr. Ford? Hold on, hold on. That's a hold good on, one. JB. That's a good one, Mr. Ford. He said check bad boy. Out, JB. Check, check your man out, JB. Check your man out, JB. Go ahead, do the laugh. Check your man out. You ain't got no respect. Who they say? You said who? He said bad boy or death row. Mr. Ford. That's the good one. It's tough for me. It's not as it's not as easy as, as you would think it is for me. In my opinion. Yeah, that's a Tiffany. That's a Tiffany destroyer. That's a fact. Um well, one of my favorite albums ever is um The Chronic. So The Chronic definitely came out on Death Row. You got Snoop, you got Snoop first album on Death Row. That's enough history for me, in my opinion. But I'm gonna go bad boy though. <laughs> I'm gonna go bad boy. Uh, I was I was just waiting. I know those are two classic albums. Those is definitely in my tops, but I was waiting for you to come to your senses. Nah, it ain't, it ain't that far off. It's not that far off. It ain't that but, far off. Tupac, we, Machiavelli, but, All Eyes On Me. Right, right. I'm playing, my G. How many of those albums was on Death Row? Every album I just named was on Death Row. I'm talking about from Tupac, because Tupac has a lot of classic All albums. All Eyes On Me, Death Row. Machiavelli, Death Row. The Chronic, Death Row. All right, those Hope are four. Death Row. Right, those Bro. are Four or five albums you just named, right? Hold on, hold on. The Dog Pound album, Death Row. That's five classic albums, bro. I said five albums. I said, I just no, said no, no, it's not just albums. five albums. It's not just five albums. It's five I said that you just named. No, no, it's I, five right. albums. I'm not saying, I didn't say they wasn't classic. I just said those, that's four to five albums you just named. That's what How I said. How many classics is on Bad Boy? You got Ready to Die. You got Life After like Death. That. Life After Death. You, we just went through some 112s. Because one, it, it, it's like, you know what it is? The first album, that was, a, that was a classic. I give him that. That's three. But what else? What Mace album. Mace first joint, that's four. Puffy joint, um, um, No Way Out, that's five. No Way Out. You that's have, five. Um, damn. Lots of joint. Faith. You got an R&B nigga. Faith album was fire. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know what it is though? Why wow, that's a tough category. Cause I like death row music too. It's just they was two different eras. Bad boy did a little bit of everything. RB, hit rap, death row. Same era, different. same era, same era, different. I'm different talking styles. about I'm talking yeah. about like I said different, I mean different lanes. Like Bad Boy did a little bit of everything. They did R and B. They did um rap. They did other stuff like Death Row, you just know them for rap. Like they didn't really do no um, B groups and stuff like that, to my knowledge. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Any day, any day. JB, so your harder, day. It's oh, harder oh, oh. to really compare those record labels to me because one was the strictly rap record label. Mm -hmm. that Death Row definitely has a lot of classic albums under their umbrella. I'm not taking away nothing. Yeah, from I'm sure it's probably more, but I, it's I just more that came it's to my more, head. But um, it's definitely more because then they branch off too. But the thing is, like when they started branching off from Death Row, they came out with more classic albums when Snoop did his own thing. He has more albums on his own, and then he did his collaboration with all his, his artists. 
He ain't got no more classics. He ain't got no more classics though. Nah, because well, nah, because he started doing his own thing. But that's well, what I'm um, saying. So with Bad Boy, you got to think about we just went through it. All the people that Diddy basically helped bring into the world for the world to see, all of them has at least one good album. Carl Thomas. That was my joint. Summer Rain is a classic. I mean, yeah, it is. It is what it is, man. Um, yo, JB, yo, he got three pairs too, man. He got three pairs, bro. Mr. Four going crazy. Mr. Four said, "Rough Riders on the Rock." Jeez. Oh, that's mad comments. Let me read. Let me read. Let me read. <laughs> uh, Rough Riders on the Rock. Mr. Four said, "Death Row for me." Uh, Chaos at Confession. I don't like Tupac. I'm not a big Tupac fan either, but well, I ain't I'm not an idiot. a big Tupac fan. But I, I give him. His I respect. know he got songs that I like. He, he got albums, man. He got albums that's that's fire, man. And All Eyes on Me and Machiavelli, both classic albums. And I'm not even a Tupac fan. I'm not even. A, I'm it's not even. I don't even like Pac like that. But I know I heard the music. He was, he was. Whew, I don't even want to go over there. I don't want to go there. But um. Uh, Jerome said me either. Damn, niggas don't like Tupac in here. Chaos said Tiffany need to cut Nicky Diamonds the check for being the inspiration behind those Air Force Ones. We definitely, I definitely said that on the, like a couple lives ago. They definitely need to cut him a check. Cool. Cool. Who would check? Nicky Diamonds. Because he's I'm not a good Tupac friend either, like that. So I'm yeah, not me either. That, if you're from the East Coast, you don't really mess with Pac like that. Uh, Mr. Force said Rough Riders on the Rock. That's what I said. That's crazy. That one is crazy. Because mm. the Rough Riders had a lot of elite rappers on that record label. So, nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not picking nobody. But I'm just saying, like, who was elite? Like, they had the locks. Okay, DMX and, DMX and Eve, and that's Eve. it. That's that's a group I, I like, of two people. <laughs> like, that's, that's a three. group. Of two. That's all right. So you want to put the locks as a group? All right, that's one. I like Drag on first album. That's just me. I mean, his, his first, first album, album was all right, but he, his first he, album was Good Bread. But he ain't elite. You, huh? He ain't elite. Now, I didn't say he was elite. I said I liked his first album. I ain't say nothing else after that. Don't try to put words in my mouth now. I just said, about, I, said I like um, his first album. Uh, Chaos said all he, all he did was rhyme enemy with Hennessy. Hennessy. <laughs> Who's that? He can't remember him. me. <laughs> Yo, who you talking about? I'm taking this comic. Yo, this comic got me in tears, bro. Who are you talking about? I'm confused. Tupac. Oh, dude. I'm talking about Tupac. He's Yo. the one rhyme enemies with Hennessy's penitentiary centuries and remember me. Yo, y'all funny for that one. Yo, he said nah. Dr. created classics with Dr. Dre, DJ, DJ Quick, Quick, and that producing. Yeah, that's a fact. Most definitely. Whoa. How you? How y'all not oh, like pop? Yeah, Gabe, it's make sure you get thing. at them too. Hold on, Gabe. Make sure you get at them like you get at me about this Will Smith situation. I mean, about Jada's husband ah, situation. Wait, wait, wait. I said Tupac got songs that I like. I'm just not that big of a fan of his. I'm not taking away his credit. I'm just not that big of a fan of his. And it goes back to what you say. The East Coast really didn't mess with Tupac like that. Yeah. Uh, yo, Ki, you going too far now, man? Said his voice, his voice remind me of Martin Luther King rapping. Nah, we ain't <laughs> doing that. What you doing that? Ki been killing uh, rappers and R and B singers this whole chat. Drag nah, on there, Mister Four. Drag on first CD was a it, it was a good CD. What question y'all tweeted? Y'all think rock don't rock? Y'all don't rock with Pac? Wow, right? That's, yo, that's what I was saying. Yo, Ki. That's what I was saying, bro. Rough Riders had like three people. Who y'all counting? Right. Uh, who he was counting? <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say Jack on. I ain't count nobody else. I just said yeah. Jack on first CD. You say Young One. I ain't, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> young One had one bar, one verse. Young One. <laughs> song that I'm not. That was legendary, though. That, that was, was legendary, legendary bar, though. though. That was legendary. And we ain't going to sleep on. All right, he's not a rapper. He's a producer, but you, say something, you say something crazy, Chris. Swiss Cut Beats, your mic Swiss off. Beats, Swiss, Beats, <laughs> Swiss Beats is the DJ Khaled of, of Rough Rider. Oh, he I, got he I, got I, albums. Ah, you got that. You can't got that, you do got that. that. Swiss Beats is another one. Like we can't do that to Swiss Beats. So you technically got like three. I think no four. Four. Um, Dmx, the locks because we put them as one. 
Eve and then Swiss Beats. No. Eve and Swiss no. Beats? Not no. putting them up there? Swiss is a producer, man. He get paid to produce music. But he got That's albums he like paid. DJ Khaled. Yeah, but they not fire. And he, and won't, he come, got and, songs. And they, didn't, they didn't come out on Rough Riders. He, he got he came out on full too. service. Yeah, but they didn't come out on Rough Riders. We talking about Rough Riders, bro. Rough Riders. That's what we talking about. We not talking about his his albums that so, came out on full well, service. That that song, uh, Rough Riders, um, anthem remix was a Swiss beat song. That's DMX song. I'm asking you a question. I'm not saying. I'm yeah, that's D, that's you. DMX song. That's DMX song. That's DMX joint. Rough Riders anthem is DMX song. Swiss produced it, but it's DMX song. So it was on. Drag on was I. Right. I'm not. I like Drive On first CD. Yeah, nah, yo. It's next like chat, yo, the next get the next I'm live the is I'm the Thursday. Yonkers. Next live Thursday, <clears throat> 9 p.m. Man, everybody pull up. We're gonna have yo. new topics, new situations, and more debates, man. Y'all already know what it is, said, man. That's and terrible. And on top of that, <laughs> and on top of that, on the next live, I'm dropping the link in the chat. Anybody want to pull up? Pull up, y'all already know what it is. Yo, you're about to get up off here. I got some editing to do, so I gotta, I gotta, um, yo, not to be side note, side note, because this trade is looking like it, it is a win win for both teams. Mikel Bridge has been balling like crazy. They said Phoenix, like they were holding him back. Yeah, because the way, nah, not really. Yo, look, he's, he's coming behind Booker, so I can understand that. Like, you can't really get that. Hold on, bro. hold on, hold on, hold on, no, yo, but you got to remember, like, when you're playing on the team and you're the number one option, you get a lot of, you get a lot of shots, you, you get a lot of situations. So, so that's playing the part too. And he's a shooter; he can shoot. So, yeah, Mikel Bridges is going like, to He he should have been getting way more love in Phoenix if he's putting up numbers like this. Yeah, man, uh, Mister Four, um, read that last comment, Chris, because I'm we're about to get off. I can't read that. I can't say that name. Chicken heads, no, I'll be the. Cl- no, 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 not that one, not that one, not that one. The last one. Mr. Four last comment. The legend Will Smith gonna pull up on you, Chuck. Listen, I don't like He's I said. Gonna say, Keep my name out your mouth. He ain't gonna slap me though. Rock. So you that rock. You must be out I your mouth. Back, you my brother. You, I got your back. You, you already know it. He tried to put his head on me. It's gonna be a bad back. situation. You already I might know. Laugh. I, 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 I'm going to keep real. I might laugh if he did it, happening. but then we're going to have to jump him. It ain't happening, man. It ain't happening, he yo. Little Zane better than Drag On? Nah, I'm out of here. Nah, right, yo, okay, you, you tripping, right, man. Yeah, yo, you yo next live, next you live, Tuesday, 9 p.m. Everybody have a good night. If you ain't hit the like button on the way in, please hit the like button on the way out. I appreciate yo. everybody pulling up. Appreciate it. If y'all seen Super Chats, man, it's gladly appreciated. We take Yo, those. What was, what was the poll outcome? Oh, the poll outcome before we go. Give y'all the poll numbers. The poll numbers is uh, we got 12 votes. 75% for 112, 25% for Jagged Edge. It's the S, the L, the R, the M. Yo, chill, bro. You got to relax. Hey, let me tell you what I want to do. Y'all out here wild. Y'all out here wild. Yo, in this chat, man. Chuck, Yo, Chuck, have is, Chuck, is ca- Chuck is capping like he didn't, he, he wasn't in, the, he wasn't in um his, his, his crib, his mom crib doing his little peaches and cream dances and dance. I mean, everybody was. I, I picked 112. Oh, I thought you picked Jagged Edge. I, I thought, nah, I picked uh, 112, bro. Yo, Mr. Ford, <laughs> K.I., Gabe, Benjamin Foe, J.B., Supreme Kicks. Uh, who else is in here today? Uh, Jerome, James. James. Thank uh, you for the support, as usual. XVG. XVG. We'll All right, see you on Thursday. Appreciate you on Thursday, 9 p.m., man. Pull up, man. I'm going to be oh. Chuck a topic this week. because Yeah, Chuck man, please. Yeah, yeah, man. You know I mean? Yeah, man. It's hard, man. These topics are hard to come up with, man. Chuck yeah, man. Yo, you already know what it is, man. Uh, Mr. Chris, Ford. Chris, a.k.a. R-B. Sportsman Chris. Hey, Chris. Yes, Mr. Ford, you already know what it is. <laughs> a.k.a. Will Smith is better than Chuck's favorite rapper. We out. Peace. Oh, damn, my <laughs> fool. I'm your damn head, man. <laughs> Jada's husband is not better than nobody. (laughs) Good night, everybody.